Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Awuwa, where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we'll be answering what third-party charger is best for a MacBook Pro and does the Logitech Lift Mouse support Logitech options? But before I ask Sophie to cue the intro, yes, Sophie, because I fired Lokman after he messed up my intro in the previous episode. I would like to announce that we are looking for people to join the Soya Chinchao family. There's an opening for videographer and editor, social media manager, BM tech writer, and graphic designer. Yes. If any of these positions caught your attention, you can find more information about it with the card up top or with the link in the description. Now, Sophie, cue the intro. Sophie, jangan lah macam ni. We'll start with a question regarding the Apple Watch. That's not an Apple Watch. I know that's not an Apple Watch because every other Apple people in the office are using the Apple Pay to buy lunch right now. So, this is an Apple Watch. How to use an Apple Watch? Tried today but did not detect. Okay, let's go over all the steps needed to activate Apple Pay on the Apple Watch just in case you missed any. First, launch the watch app on your iPhone and scroll down until you find the wallet and Apple Pay settings. Click on it and you should see a list of cards that you've added to your iPhone. Tap on add next to your desired card to add it to your Apple Watch. You will be required to enter your card's security code. Depending on the bank, some additional verification processes may be required. Once completed, your payment card is now available on your Apple Watch. If you haven't added a card to your iPhone, you can also add them by tapping on Add at the top of the screen and following the instructions. Now, to pay, simply double press the side button and hold the watch's face against the reader. No further verification is required as the watch is already authenticated when you put it on. Each time you put on the Apple Watch, you will need to perform a one-time authentication using Face ID, Touch ID, or passcode on your iPhone or Apple Watch. When the Apple Watch is removed from your wrist, it will lock itself automatically and disable Apple Pay. If you would like to know how to add a payment card to your iPhone, you can check out Alex's article which I will link in the description below. Now, if you're a Samsung user watching this and going, Samsung Pay was available earlier. Well, you can check out Alex's video where he compares Apple Pay to Samsung Pay which I will link at the end of this episode. Now, sticking with iPeople, here's a question regarding the MacBook Pro. Hey everyone, would like to get some advice from the MacBook users here. I'm on the 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro and in need of a new charger. Reading up on the net, it says I can actually get away with any USB-C charger. I don't mind slow ones. Would like to know if this is a good idea or not and if there are some third-party charges on Shopee, I'd really appreciate some links. Well, Amin recommends the MacDodo 100W gun charger as this is the charger he personally uses for his MacBook Pro. The charger also comes with interchangeable plug heads for different plug types in other countries. There's a total of two USB-C PD ports capable of a 100W output and a USB-A port with a 30W output. Now, these numbers are valid when the charger is only powering one device at a time. Adding on more devices will prompt the charger to split its 100W capacity accordingly. According to Amin, he can charge both his MacBook Pro and phone at the same time with no issues. The MacDodo 100W gun charger is currently selling for 170 ringgit, and you can check it out with our affiliate link in the description. The last question for this episode is thankfully not Apple related but Zamira related but you know it is the lesser of two evils so the question from her video review of the Logitech Lift mouse reads pretty sure this mouse supports Logitech options as well the customizable gesture shortcut is very handy yes you are right but to clarify the Logitech Lift mouse supports the newer Logitech options plus and it's not backwards compatible with the older software. Within the Logitech Options Plus software, you can reassign your device's buttons and keys, create mouse gestures, and check battery levels and paired devices. The coolest feature for me has to be Logitech Flow, 
which links up to three computers together regardless if they're running Windows or Mac OS. You can then share a single mouse pointer between those two computers and effortlessly transfer text, images, and files between computers. You can check if your Logitech keyboard or mouse supports Logitech Options Plus with the link in the description. Don't forget to check out Zamira's review of the Logitech Lift Mouse after the end credits. That's it for this episode. Remember to like our video if you liked it and do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next Awuwa! Bye bye! No Bixby, I'm not talking to you!